Hey everyone, it is Monday, July 24th. The time is 2.45 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 26 degrees Celsius. And I am here at Cherry Beach in the Portlands area in Toronto. And that is a look to the north. And it's been a while since I've been to this beach. And in this one, I'll be heading over to the e-scooter, which I've parked just over there, and going for a ride through what is one of the largest active construction sites in Canada, and arguably the most exciting construction project in the city of Toronto. And that is through Villiers Island. I'll be heading south down Cherry Street, which is currently being reconfigured. And then when I get to the waterfront trail, I will head west. Welcome to Cherry Beach, proud to fly the blue flag. So there's the e-scooter. Let's fire this up. There we go, so in a minute here, I'll hop on the e-scooter and we'll get moving. I'm not going to attempt to ride this thing over the sand. So this is the north end of Cherry Street. There's some public restrooms and a food truck. There's some barbecue pits just straight ahead. And you could continue along the trail here through what's known as the Unwin Connector, and that'll take you over to Tommy Thompson Park. But we are going south here. And as you'll soon see, Cherry Street is a bit of a mess, but given the size and scale of this construction project, I think that's to be expected. I think it's about 54 acres in total. And when all is said and done, there'll be over 10,000 residents housed in the area and about 3,000 jobs created. So this is north up Cherry Street. That must be the 202 Cherry Street bus, or Cherry Beach bus. You can grab that from Union Station. And this is Unwin Avenue, and off in that direction are some film studios. And just over there, off in the distance, are the Toronto Islands. They come quite close to the Portlands here. So close you could easily build a bridge if you wanted to, or the city could. So at the turn of the 19th century, this was mostly marshlands. You can see the skyline over to the left, and it was developed into an industrial area over time. That 
that sidewalk over there seems to be the preferred route for cyclists in this area. I think with the street being one lane up ahead, this light cycle can take quite a while. I'm going to follow the lead of those other cyclists. So to the right is to the east. We are entering the construction site. On the left here used to be a drive-in movie. Drive-in movie theater, I guess you'd call it. But it last operated in 2020 as it opened temporarily for the Toronto International Film Festival during the pandemic. Sidewalk closed detour. Some massive reconfiguration on that bridge going on. They're reconfiguring the mouth of the Don River. And realigning Cherry Street. So Cherry Street used to go straight down here, but now it's veering to the left. And there's a bridge we'll be going over. This light could take a while. I'm just gonna walk across it. There's no traffic coming. So what I'm going to do is head over to the Polson Pier and we're gonna get a pretty spectacular glimpse of the skyline. Just on the right here used to be an Asian supermarket, TNT, which was later bought by Loblaws. And back when I lived in the St. Lawrence neighborhood, we would sometimes drive here and go shopping at that TNT. That closed as part of the redevelopment of the area. On the left is part of the Docks Entertainment Complex. There used to be a go-kart track that I think closed down around 2019. And there's a nightclub just up here on the left called Rebel that used to be known as the Sound Academy. I think they ran into problems with their liquor permit. I don't know what's to become of this area. If Rebel is going to get to stay when the redevelopment is done, let me know down in the comments if you know. There's also a popular pool bar just behind it called Cabana.
private property, no docking. I think that's a helicopter pad just straight ahead. But here is why I detoured over to this area for. A stunning look at the skyline. There's the Toronto Islands. And I think just north of here, they're building a cove, a canoe cove. There'll be a number of parks on this side. This was originally the Ash Bridges Bay wetlands. And there is the Kahama, a tall ship sailing. Put my camera back into tilt lock mode. Gonna grab one picture. Or two or three. All right, let's get back over to Cherry Street. And that is Cabana straight ahead. And this community will feature dedicated tramways and bike paths. In fact, there's a bridge that has been earmarked for streetcar service along Cherry Street, but the city has yet to fund that project. We'll be getting a look at that in a few minutes. But I think the idea is to extend, extend the King Streetcar from the distillery loop south down Cherry Street right into this area, which would be a natural extension. that straight ahead is one big massive construction site. Just gonna pull the scooter off here for a second. There is a river being carved through Villiers Island. And you can see, there it is right there. And I think there's four heritage properties that are being protected. I think that's an old fire hall straight ahead that they actually had to move out of the way. There's gonna be quite a lot of wildlife accommodated in this redevelopment. And of course, another look at the skyline.
All right, let's get moving. So this bike lane here made Reddit and social media the other week as a number of cars were seen driving through it. How the heck you end up in the bike lanes is beyond me, but apparently it happened. Toronto drivers never cease to amaze. So I think this is going to be mostly park just on the left. And here is where things get a little dicey in the bike lanes. The bike lane here indicates to turn right. But the bike lane is not finished on the right. Neither is the sidewalk, so what you'll see cyclists do is just turn right here down this little stretch and go in the opposite direction. But straight ahead, you can see the two bridges. The smaller one on the right is earmarked for tram service, and on the left will be where vehicles drive through. And this will be where Cherry Street gets reconnected, or connected for the first time, and that'll lead you into the St. Lawrence neighborhood. And straight ahead is the Cherry Street Bar and Grill. And that's one of the protected buildings that one dates back to 1907, and I think it was originally built as a TD bank. That building straight ahead there. And that Toronto Hydroelectric System building on the left is also protected. And there you can get a look into the construction site. Pedestrian beware, construction traffic crossing. And there's also on Commissioner Street behind me a very large bridge gone in to go over the river. Whereas in the past, Villiers Street here would be your east west route across the south end of the Portlands, but this is turning into a cul de sac. So you won't be able to take Billiard Street all the way across. You'll have to go up to Commissioner Street. There you can see those two bridges we saw earlier straight ahead. They were floated in from Halifax. That's where they were assembled, although the arches were actually done in Rotterdam. Relying on some Dutch expertise. There's the 72 Pape bus. That would normally make its way along commissioners. So we are leaving Villiers. And this is the waterfront trail. That is Cherry Street straight ahead, and then I'll lead you up alongside the distillery district. This is kind of neat. You can see the sidewalks going in. 
And I think I heard it speculated that until the TTC or the city goes ahead and funds that streetcar for the smaller bridge on the left there, that they'll be able to run buses through it, at least as a dedicated busway. And those streetcars currently terminate just north of here at the distillery loop. And I guess I got lucky. The forecast said there was a 40% chance of thunder showers at this time. So I was debating if I should even come down here and record this today. And this is west along the downtown waterfront trail. I think this area on the left is where Google wanted to build a smart city once upon a time. There is a respite center. This is the foot of Parliament Street. And we're entering an area known as East Bayfront. And on the right will soon be the site of another massive construction project called Keyside. There's a number of big developments planned. And that building straight ahead is a timber construction building. So this area on the right will soon be demolished to make way for another new community springing up. Although I'm not sure if there's plans to extend the Queens Key streetcar along this stretch of Queens Key. It runs along Queens Key West and at Bay Street it turns north up to Union Station. It seems like this would be an obvious gap in the network, especially with a rail connection and the Portland's coming up. And this is the foot of Sherburn Street. That's Lower Sherburn. Sherburn features a dedicated bike lane, features. making it probably the best north-south route on the east side of downtown if you're on two wheels. Let's take a little detour and check out Sugar Beach. This is the Chorus Entertainment Building complex. This is a little man-made beach area named after the Red Path Sugar Refinery just across the way. There's a promenade. You could go for a walk along the lake.
And the city recently announced, I think, 22 parks that'll take part of a pilot project allowing public drinking. I think there's a lot of little parks like this in HTO Park that were overlooked and probably should have been included in that. What's that guy doing in the tree? Oh, it smells good in front of the Red Path Sugar Refinery. There's the Pinnacle Construction Site, where one of the two tallest towers in the country is going up. And this is the foot of Young Street. Which some have incorrectly deemed the longest street in the world. darker clouds have started to roll in. Maybe it will start to rain after all. I'm guessing these throngs of people are probably making their way to the island ferry terminal. They brought their umbrellas. I'm just going to veer into Harbor Square Park. Thank you. 
There's the Jack Layton Ferry Terminal straight ahead. Gonna go down and finish up with the view of the lake. I'm gonna hop off and walk it on the boardwalk here. There we go. On that note, I hope you enjoyed this ride starting at Cherry Beach, heading north through the Portlands, up Cherry Street, where a massive redevelopment project is taking place, and then riding west along the Waterfront Trail to Harbor Square Park East here. There's a look at the island, and Here's where I was not too long ago, and that tall ship is starting to make its way over this way. And one of the ferries, a smaller one, has departed for the islands. Anywho, let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support the channel and what I do. There's links to YouTube channel membership and Patreon membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and there is a super thanks button appearing below the videos if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Yoink.